Okay, what I want to do now is I just want to have a look at one side of the leg. So we can have a look at the thigh uh, and the remaining leg. So we can expose the muscles and then that will be <clears throat> the basic kind of anatomy of the frog uh, that you can uh, see. First and foremost, looking at the, the leg. Now what we have is we have a thigh which is situated here. Thighs. This is referred to as the shank, and therefore the foot, which is situated here. Remember we said it's got one, two, three, four, five finger, webbed finger digits is sometimes what they refer to as. And obviously this muscle, we're expecting this muscle to be quite thick because the frogs are always hopping off the back legs, and therefore that is where they get a lot of their um, power in terms of movement from. So again, similar process as we did before. Uh, this time again, if we can just pinch up to make sure we've got a nice dissective uh, compartment. Uh, and again, just gently giving the incision. And once we've got the incision, we can then continue as normal to have a look at the internal structures, or the muscles of the thigh and the leg. Okay, we can do a T incision, that's fine. T incision on this side as well. So a little connective tissue there. Okay. You can see then, all we have is just pure muscle and the back legs here. I might just need to get rid of this for you so it's just a little bit easier to kind of see. Just part of the skin there. Okay. No matter how deep we go into this, it is just going to be muscle all the way. You can see there, layers of muscle, stringy. quite tough that there, very very tough and it's a lot of just uh, muscle fibres which are dear together.
Okay, so all I've done is I've just gone straight through the muscles uh, directly into the bone, which is, which is that you can just heal that. Yeah, so straight down to the bone there. Now, these muscles are made up of um, specific filaments, actin mycin filaments, allowing the contraction and relaxation. And there is a lot of um, ATP present inside there, mitochondria, to release energy because they utilize their back muscles quite a lot in order to, uh, in order to leap um, forwards. Um, and then obviously we've got, moving further on from there, we can, we can just have a look at the shank, which is situated over here. Okay, so again, same thing again, a lot of muscle here, back, calf muscle, and there you've got the muscle primarily at the front here, and these work in an antagonistic fashion where one contracts, the other will relax, okay? So for example, if it was moving its foot upwards like this, then one thing you'll find is this one over here is relaxed, this one is, is contracted, but if it goes the opposite way, you can see now this one is contracted, this one has relaxed, and it's gone more, more chunky at the back. Yeah? So, and that is similar mechanism to the way the human being uh, shin is working as well. Okay, um, and that is the end of the brief dissection of a frog looking at the internal structure of the anatomy and also looking at the um, some of the vital organs that are similar to the human beings and we've just had a look at the thigh muscle which we can really see how deep it is before you actually get into the bone okay quite a thick and chunk as I've extracted from here and we finished off by looking at the antagonistic uh, fashion of both pairs of muscles across the shank and the calf muscle thank you very much